Welcome, Panda Fox here. Today I'm giving a shot on this um, Fishy Bausch. Uh, what is it? M2E, M2B. Here's the key. It's uh, my first black belt lock. It's one of those beautiful French safe locks. I got wafers and you have to like rotate them as you can see on the key yeah you have to rotate them to push them out and then set them so two directions um seven got false gates counterclockwise uh, clockwise counterclockwise no false gates so i will put it uh, pick it counterclockwise um yeah well Let's do this. Alright, we're looking for the first binding wafer. And I can find that the one is very, very stiff. So I guess this one is a binding one. Let's rotate it and then push it downwards. And this one feels now set. It's very springy, so it might be it. You need a lot of tension. Okay, let's try this one. Rotating it. Barely can rotate it. Sometimes you have to be careful not to pick the uh, the binding. Oh no, I was wrong. It's not not this one. This one, pin one. There was a nice click with pin one. I know when I hear this click, I'm in the right rotation. And this one is set. You can see it very, very, very springy. All right, so what is the next one? I'm checking seven. Seven is now for sure set. It was unset. Six is not binding. Five not binding. Not not sure if it's. I believe it's two now. So I gotta go over here a little. Little click here, so let's try to set it. Ah, I feel good. So we got one, two, and seven is we are set. So let's find the next one. It's not three, not four, not five, six. All right. Let's see if I can get it. Rotate it. Oh yeah, this one is set. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So we got one, two, seven, and six set. Set. Let's find the next binding wafer. Might be five. I don't know yet. To be honest, I haven't picked it yet with seven wafers. I picked it with five maximum. All right, let's let's try it with. Okay, so let's see if we're in the right position. I don't know. Can I get more tension on it? This feels springy. Might not be set, I don't know yet. 
check really quick? No, I don't know. But we'll see. Let's check uh, again. One, two, it's good. You can already see the core, it's rotating a little. Okay, so what is it now? Three or? Let's go with. I don't think so. I don't know. It's probably three. I kind of, I don't know, I might have screwed it up. Let's try to recover. I release the tension just a little. So I can get a, get them back out. So I got, so if you release a little, you can have the last one back. They're not losing everything. This might be. Okay, if I turn it a little. Alright, let me check. It's now better, much better. Okay. Checking back the other pin, the wafers. No. I don't seem I can't set this one, I'm giving a little more tension. Might be set, I don't know yet. Kind of, this one feels stuck now. Four fields set a little. Yeah, field set. To be honest, number five came loose again. Why did you come loose? Nobody knows. This one should be set now again. And I lost three again. Does he feel set? No, definitely feel set. Let me check. So this is set. All right. One. One is set. Two is set. Three feel set. Lost four again. Rotating it a little. Field set. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, five is now the one. I lost five. What does hey, hey, hey.
Let me have a look here. Okay, five is good now. Yeah, I lost this one, but I can't get it to it right now, so I need to improvise right here. I'm gonna do this one, I don't know yet. I don't wanna lose my progress. This might work. All right, I can get. I know I can get it back. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, seven is still good. Six is still good. Two is not. A uh, two. Five. <sighs> I think this one's too deep. I'm gonna release a little tension to recover. Oh no 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 no! Did I lose everything? Mm, one is good. Two is good. Three is good. Four is good. Seven is good. Six is good. Okay, 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 okay. We didn't lose. See, it's too deep again. Yeah. Now I'm getting little. Don't want to lose it. Cause I'm very far. Haven't been this far. But even with five pens, pin number five always kind of fucked me up. To be honest. Check on it. I need to reset it more. Still too deep. I don't want to reset it anymore. How can I recover now? Well. Let's try it. Yeah, it didn't come out. Need to do it a little more. Probably gonna lose another pin. I believe I got it stuck. Damn it. It's 
so close. So close. Okay, lost that one. We are open! We are open! Yes! So you can see. I don't want to rotate it too far. Zoom in. Let me, let me move it. Zoom in. I don't want to get it out of frame. And let me put the focus point. And as you can see, Really moved and we locked it in the next position. It doesn't matter, we got it open. Now let's gut this bitch. This is this will be a pita. All right, I have to keep it in frame to make it count. To prove that I picked it, I will try to use a key and it will probably not work as you can see. Of course, I need to, yeah, so the key doesn't work now. All right, I'm going to use this mat. And I will probably make a second video reassembling it because, yeah, this will be long enough as it is. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to unscrew these little bolties here there are usually more i took them off i will reassemble it complete because there's another plate here and stuff when i do the reassemble video this will be the complete one all right oh, shit. so my battery is good enough should be, should be working and i will show a trick for gutting to not lose 100 uh, ball bearings so let's unscrew this one I'm gonna put it here. Okay, so we do have three ball bearings. They belong in here. There's also a spring. The spring is in one of these holes, three holes, and three ball bearings on top. Oops, like like this. All right, so it makes it more smooth when turning. So let's put the ball bearings over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna take out the springs really quick. It's just standard springs. You can see. I will zoom into all the stuff later. But right now, just want to make sure I'm guarding it on camera. So now I'm gonna use my safety rope because these wafers are a son of a bitch to pick. And you can see that is that it is actually picked. No, it's all good. No, 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 you can't. All right, so, so what, I, what I'm doing, I'm inserting the key. Therefore, I move the wafers down. And I'm gonna use this rubber to put it like a safety net. Because when you loosen the top, the springs might just fly off. I lost a lot of ball bearings, I had to get spares. So now we make sure all these little 
main first and I just lost lost uh, battery of my spur light so well now it's gonna be a little darker but anyways I make sure all these little wafers are this one is not behind the the rubber the All right, now we got <coughs> that. Let me zoom in a little. We're gonna take a, another a flathead. This one. And we got four screws in here. Uh, three screws, sorry. We had the ball bearings and the spring was. This little, little longer one. Gonna unscrew the top. I'm sorry. Make sure the safety and stuff is uh, in place. I can't believe I, I did pick this actually. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The first time. I told you I, I trained this up to five and I was like, ah, screw it. I'm gonna put in now the last one. Come on, did I? When you turn just now, you have to be very careful when you pull up, uh, pull off this one, because under here are these little wafer thingies, and they like to go off and fly. Yes still in there okay doesn't matter all right now you can see the already lost the ball bearing there now I make sure that I can push every wafer a little farther out behind the line like this and this is how I reassemble it also already have one ball bearing here that's dropped out somewhere <coughs> I marked all the wafers so I know where they go back now we can just take them out. Be very careful because there's a spring and in a ball bearing. And I just just flew off. It doesn't matter, I got spares. Let's take a spare one. I'll find it. So You can use little this. So this is one of those wafers. This is the number one. This one is the one that has to pass the groove, and the key just goes in like this. Push it as push it push to the side. And then it pushes them down to the right depth. All right, this is wafer number one. Let's get this ball bearing. There's another ball bearing. Not losing this one, please. All right, good, perfect. And that spring. Couple. I'm gonna make a ball bearing pit here. But I'm not. I'm not going to uh, reassemble it today. Because it is already late. All right. So this is number. Do I have a somewhere? Uh, a tweezer. Probably it is somewhere. Well, let's take the spring out. I should have a magnet somewhere to do this. I'm sorry. Oh, 
Did I move? No, I'm fine. All right, all good, all good. That's much easier. So we got Rafer one, two, three here. All the same concept, different configurations. You have to be careful not to mangle them. I'm gonna release uh, uh, the, the tension and the ball bearings really quick. Makes it easier not to lose stuff. And then I can take off the... Oh, this was the top. I show you in a second where this belongs. This, this can happen. This doesn't. It's not so, not that important. All right. So all right. Good. So now we're gonna take off this one. Little rubbery thingy. And. Actually, I only dropped one of the ball bearings. It's not bad. So we got our seven springs here. Seven, where's my magnet? Yeah. Seven plus one. This one belongs in here. There's a little rod. And this one is just on top. This can come off. Sometimes it does. So let's put this one. Oops. There it is. Alright, so that's spring. So we got our wave up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ah, uh, not the right. This would do belong in there. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see the little little grooves in here. This is for the false gates. But they are only on one side, and I picked it counterclockwise, so I don't have to worry about it. And you can see here on both sides. Can see the grooves for the false gates. So as the uh, last part, what we have to do or can do for guarding, gonna remove the bottom plate here. This is uh, actually the, the rotator where where the lock stuff is moved. All right. So let's take this one off, and there will be the rod. It's two screws, two screws in here, and we got a little rod in here, it belongs there, and we are completely disassembled. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna zoom in. You got the little, little roof in here, this is where the wafers pass when you pick the lock. So you have to set them in depth, uh, in rotation, the right rotation, and then you have to find the right spot. Let me see if I can make. So you can go like you have to. They are usually there like this. Yeah, yeah. Then you set the rotation and the depth. And then you can use then you have it. Well I'm very happy that I picked this one successfully. I will now zoom in a little. There you got the seven wafers, seven springs, and a lot of ball bearings. I hope this qualifies as a black belt pick. I would like to use this one as uh, one of my the last red belts. So yeah, 
um, there will be a part two reassembling this lock. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm gonna take off the camera and gonna do a close up stuff. No. If I can. I might I just might lose use my iPhone for that.